Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Summer. If this is your first time here, if it's not, welcome back. Eid Mubarak to all my Muslim brothers and sisters out there. I hope you guys have a wonderful, happy, joyous Eid and all your fasts are accepted. Um, I know Eid 2020 is not what we expected it to be, but we have to make the most of what it is. So I hope everyone has a great Eid. Now, we are getting into this look today. I did this quick, easy Eid look. It is so easy. It has no definition, meaning no like wing liner, no cut crease, nothing. So honestly, you can do this. It's good for a day or night. I still think we should be getting... Ooh, what happened to my focus? I still think we should be getting ready for Eid. We did do Ramadan, we did fast, we should celebrate, we should have a good time. Just because it is corona, corona, coronavirus doesn't mean we can't celebrate the good. I think it's that it's actually the most important thing to do right now, especially during these hard times. So I hope everyone is celebrating and has an amazing day. Um, but without further ado, we are gonna get right into this look, but be sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, share this video, comment down below. Um, if you like my outfit, it is Sonia Mskatia. I didn't iron it because I couldn't decide what I wanted to wear for this video, so don't judge me. Yeah. Um, without further ado, we can uh, get started. All right, guys. Happy Eid, Eid Mubarak. We're getting right into the makeup look. Today, I swear, in the mirror, my eyebrows look even, and when I turn the camera on, they're not even. You know what? It's because this eyebrow just sits higher. It is what it is. Okay, a skin update. I don't know if you guys saw my last video, but my skin was so bad. And look at it today. Oh, it's so much better. I'm like so happy. The bumps are basically gone. The scars are going away slowly. It's not so bad anymore. I'm feeling self-conscious. So really happy about that. <clears throat> so we're going to do an Eve look. Um, you guys wanted what I was wearing the other day. I did a poll on Instagram. This is kind of what you guys wanted to see. So... Hey, cut off. There we go. Okay. Um, sorry, my head was cut off. But um, yeah, my skin's doing so much better. Look at this. You guys, like I was really going through it. Like the amount of insecurity I was feeling, like it was on freaking real. I am finally ready. Okay, so for this look, I'm actually gonna do skin first um, because the eye look is not very um, dramatic and it has a little bit of glitter in it. And um, I just don't want the glitter to fall on my face and then be an issue when I wanna put makeup on. Why? Yeah, I feel like I need to sit up. That's what it is, okay. Um, so I don't want it to be an issue for when I'm uh, like applying makeup. So I'm just gonna do that so when I'm baking, the glitter can fall there and I can just wipe it away. So. I never really show my skincare on here, but since my skin is doing so well, I waited to put on my moisturizer so we could, you know, and my eye cream. Okay, so we are gonna, I still use the same sub. I'm a creature of habit. Whenever I tend to use new stuff, my skin tends to break out. So we're just gonna stick to what we know, okay? So Banana Bright Eye Cream by Ula Henriksen. I do like to put my eye cream on before my moisturizer. Ooh, and I put on some press-on nails. Love it. They look so real, right? Um, I haven't had worn nails in like a week or so, maybe like two weeks, and I've just missed them. It's kind of weird having them back on, though. Some things are a lot easier without nails, guys. Have you ever, like, realized that? I never thought I would be a person wearing press-on nails, but you know what? Desperate time. Even though nail salons and stuff are opening back up, like, in a week. But, like, are we still feeling safe to go? Can you guys tell me? Because, like, I don't know. Maybe, like, for a pedicure because like you're not like in their face but like i'm not trying to i really just want to like i want a vaccine okay like i don't want to be sick i don't want to like i just don't want to risk it so let me know down in the comments how you guys are feeling about that like are you guys feeling what i'm feeling um ola henriksen searage brightening double cream love this stuff so good especially under makeup both of these under makeup is just like perfection Oh, I feel really pale. I'm gonna need to change the lighting. Actually, I'm going to. I feel really, really white. Little memento. Add a little bit of warmth to my skin, so I need that. Good enough. Okay, so um, I just moisturized. We're good there. Now we're gonna prime. Now, some people don't prime after they moisturize because your skin is like tacky after. But I, I like the extra protection on my skin. You guys know. 
it's not. Um, I'm using the Sisley Double Tensier Primer. It's bougie, I know. If you want a good dupe, the Milk Hydro Grip is a good one. Um, I actually really like the Derma Blend Insta Grip too. Um, but it's E, so I'm going a little bougie. Obviously, I'm not filming this on E and posting it on E, okay? But E doesn't. It's Friday, which I'm at the weather, and E's in like two days, at least for me. We're gonna go prime with the Tarte Timeless Primer, just in problem areas. I do like to take that under the eye because I feel like it really fills out the eye. Kind of like a filler effect, you know, like your pores are not that prominent. It smooths out the under eye. It's like one of my favorite things to do. The chin. Anywhere I get oily, essentially. It's actually going to be super hot on Eve, um, but like it's supposed to be like 80 or something on Eve, so <laughs> 90, I think. So that should be fun. Um, and also as a treat, I'm going to use not majority Muslim on products, but a lot of Muslim on products. Um, kind of mixed in. Just things I've been really liking that I've been trying. I know I've been promised you guys a Muslim owned beauty routine, but there's not a lot of like face powders that are one readily available and easy to get. So I'm going to use what I have. Okay. So we're going to orange conceal. You guys know I, I still love to do that. Um, I don't need to do it, but it definitely just makes the under eye and everything look a little like you don't see the dark i don't have that much darkness i'm getting a lot of sleep okay let's be real here but there is just a little bit of that greenish like purpley under eye oh so, okay I feel like I haven't been able to get laser in a while, so this area has been kind of woof lately. Alright. And then I'm really enjoying the situation that I've been doing is setting my primer. Not too much, just like a dab. And I'm going to use a brush to do it. So I like to set the orange part. That way it, when I put concealer on, it's not going to blend away and turn my concealer orange, which is like the worst feeling. And then I like to set the bumps. Like if I have any bumps going on that day, I do like to set it because I feel like it helps cover them. It adds a little bit more protection so they're not getting like too crazy. But my skin is doing so much better. Like if you haven't seen my video of me reviewing Dremel Blend, then I don't know what you're doing and you should go look at it. Now we're gonna conceal. Um, we're gonna use, what should we use? We're gonna use um, Born This Way in Natural Beige. Just cause it's like closest to my skin tone. I want I just spot conceal these. Now, I don't need to do all that, but like it's fine. I enjoy it. I'm gonna take this Morphe brush. Um, it's the M439, the M is stipple. So I'm really pressing it into my skin. You guys believe it's already Eve? Like, where did the time go? I felt like this month was gonna go by real slow, like the rest of the months have been going, but it hasn't. It was like, it's going pretty fast. So I'm seeing this It Cosmetics brush and blending out underneath my eye just because it's a little smaller. You don't wanna apply too much pressure under your under eye either. And you don't ever wanna pull, like, Okay, we want we want to stay young forever, and the best way to do that is don't pull anything. When you always want to stipple. See how I just kind of made my under eyes just look more neutral. Got rid of that green that was on my face. I'm here for that. Okay, I'm here for that. Now we're gonna contour. Um, we're gonna use the Huda Beauty contour. Another, it's a Muslim owned Muslim owned contour. This is not the only contour we're gonna use today, but it is the one we're starting with. Um, going in with my Mac one. 30 brush honestly the best duo fiber brush there is again stippling not rubbing and this one you can actually take all the way down to the corner of your mouth this is if you want your face to look more long if you want more your cheekbones to look more like like up i would go up like this i don't want my face to look i like my face to look chiseled so it's really on preference um i always tell people like i contour my face the way it needs to be contoured not everyone's face should be contoured the same um i always try to find people with the same face shape as me when I was learning like I have a very I like to say square face so I'm not trying to make it look round I'm trying to make it look longer and not as square but I don't mind going all the way down here 
just kind of makes you look a little bit thinner hide that quarantine 15 um i actually haven't gained too much weight i feel like most of my weight gain came um actually during ramadan because you know during ramadan i don't is it anyone else like can you guys tell me like do you guys feel that you eat more fried food during this time and like you just gain that weight and then on top of that we're in quarantine so like you can't like i used to go to the gym during ramadan right and make sure I, like i would really get my cardio in during this time but like i didn't want to run outside it was raining majority of ramadan and like i tried working out as much as i can but i just felt like it was a waste just because i wanted to film content and i chose content over working out this time which is so not like me. I wish she was working out, but what are you gonna do? Contouring my nose with the JD180 180 brush. I don't even know what I'm wearing for Eve. That's why this look is actually perfect. It'll go with anything you're wearing. And I like to contour the left. I think this video is gonna be long. I'm gonna try and not make it that long. So if I don't talk that much, it's because I'm just trying to, I'm trying not to bore you guys. This is what the face looks like. We're gonna add highlighter because we are using somewhat of a matte foundation. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Hollywood Flawless Filter. Go back in with the It Cosmetics brush. What shows have you guys been watching? I haven't, I haven't really been watching shows. I feel like I don't have the attention span. Um, I didn't even watch Tiger King. I was like, but um, I did watch four more shots on Prime. It's like the Indian Sex in the City, um, like very similar to Sex in the City, which I actually really liked it. So you guys should check that out. Okay, so now it's time for foundation. Um, and for foundation, actually, um, the foundation is also Muslim owned. This is EX1 Invisiwear Liquid Foundation. Skin like pigments, um, even on complexion for perfect coverage as almost invisible oil and fragrance free non pore clogging dermatologic tested okay this one and the first ingredient is water which i actually really appreciate um this is a london based brand and they're actually a drugstore brand in london so it's not super expensive and i'm in the shade 6.0 um now it's so hard to buy makeup muslim old makeup first of all that is not um here because like it's so hard to find the right match and like this might be a little dark for me we can lighten that up with some concealer um and then i'm gonna add the Frisali skin tune blur which is also another muslim owned beauty product which i'm wearing now which is really sad it's for sale which is sad so um i think they're actually only 25 percent off on their website though for maybe e so i would definitely check that out um getting the back of this brush and just mixing it in to this foundation and I might, I'm probably going to add a little bit of a lighter foundation just because, um, this is just too dark. So I'm adding NARS Santa Fe to it. Really, I love this foundation on its own, but it's just a little too, a little too light right now. So, I mean too dark for me right now. So just for the sake of color matching, and that way it won't be super matte either, but it'll, I have so much coverage it's so good I, I actually haven't showed you guys what this is by itself but it's so good by itself um i think i did the review on my insta stories you should guys should follow me on instagram if you don't and tiktok because i love tiktok right now and i don't use snapchat that much do you guys oh my teeth look so white i've been using those white strips and i think they're working okay i'm going in with the beauty blender this is clean and just stained okay if you know you know okay um actually what i love to do is take a little brush and just apply Apply it to my face. Yeah, see how better that color is to me now. But like I was saying, I was watching this Indian four more shots. You can just check it out. It's actually really good, um, especially if you are, you know, South Asian. Um, I feel like it's really relatable in the sense of like family values and like, you know, it's based in India. It's in Mumbai, Bombay, whatever you want to call it. Um, so it's not very Muslim relatable, but it's very Desi girl relatable. Like I'm not saying that um, you can, if you're Muslim, you're not going to relate to it. I think you definitely still will. Do you see that coverage? Do you guys see that? Oh my God, it's such a good foundation, both of them. Now NARS doesn't have like it doesn't have this much coverage like it's more of a natural finish and it's more like it does have full coverage but i feel like i need to go in with like a second layer when i'm doing it oh my god so good and i'm trying to avoid my under eye like if you can't tell like i'm kind of just staying right on my cheekbone um because we're gonna add concealer and i feel like when i add foundation on my under eye it's just too much you know it looks so good it matches me perfectly i know i look a lot lighter on camera but i also feel like it's this viewfinder that makes me look lighter so i think that's why i get really confused because when i go to edit i think i look fine and i'm like dang why did i think i looked like a weird color i think it's just the viewfinder or just the color on here just whatever's left i'm just like 
behind my problems using my cheeks but this foundation is so good and it's muslim owned which i thought was a perfect time to do this because you know it looks pretty blended to say my hair so like if i get foundation in my hair you can really tell be like extra careful oh my god i'm so happy with these nails guys like they look so good they look like you know my real nails and i'm here for it time to add some concealer we're gonna actually use the same brand ex1 delete fluid concealer um this is in the shade 2.0 um this actually uh it's like a pump okay so i have a gri gripe with these okay i don't like pump concealers i like the brush application you know beggars can't be choosers here but this is such a good concealer that i i get over it so i'm gonna use this mac 190 brush it's like a flat like foundation brush and i'm just gonna apply this so they say you don't have to do the, like this triangle thing anymore which Honestly, you don't. You could probably just keep it placement. So if you get dry under eyes, maybe just keep it like right here in your inner corner and maybe like the sides of your nose. Um, but you don't need this much concealer. But I just like a full coverage situation. So it is this light that's making me look lighter, but I like the brightness, okay? Um, next, we are going to contour again. And this time we're going to use another Muslim-owned brand. This is called Ilaha Hajeva, this brand right here. Um, it, it's like a contour stick. I've been using it. You can tell I've been using it, okay? I really, really like it, this contour stick. And it has a highlighting stick. I don't really use the highlighting stick too much because I feel like that's unnecessary. Maybe I'll use it today just for just to show you guys. But we're just going to contour. I'm sorry if you can hear my dad. Like, he literally talks as if he's deaf. He's not. He wears those AirPods that are like noise canceling. So he just like screams because he can't hear himself. Just pumped out this contour. You can see I'm letting the concealer kind of marinate on my skin. I realized I really like this technique just because it kind of gives you a little extra coverage and makes your concealer kind of get your blending work. Um, so I like to just apply my contour, blend it out really let that concealer kind of settle i like the word near me so now i'm going to take um my beauty blender and whatever concealer i have left i'm just going to kind of apply it to the sponge so when i blend the sponges absorb as much and you'll notice such a difference when you do this yes i use this mirror like every day it's so good it's perfect for videos because it's coming me on the back so i have another hand it's like zoomed in the back. Now you can't do this thing with every concealer because some concealers dry really fast. So if you're using like Tarte Shape Tape or Urban Decay All Nighter or the Wayne Concealer but Benefit, those dry really pretty fast. So I wouldn't recommend doing it with those concealers. But like this one, KKW, Cover Effects, Jouer, Hourglass, um, what else is there? The Too Faced, Worn This Way. Those concealers actually you have a little play time with so you can kind of kind of wait to blend. Now I'm just taking the back of the sponge where I applied my foundation with and kind of just blending everything together marrying it together so there's no harsh lines it looks pretty good i don't know why i'm looking so washed out maybe because i am that pale and i lost my tan which is so depressing but it is what it is with that okay so now we're gonna set our under eye with um the charlotte tilbury the charlotte tilbury air brush flawless finish as you can see i really like this i've hit pan but i'm still using it it's not, it's not done yet okay, and i'm gonna use the tati um puff to apply to my under eye this, this just applies it so nicely that like then my under eyes are looking really good when I do this. I still bake because I'm oily so I need to bake. Right. Now I'm going to take tra mm, Laura Mercier Translucent and this, I, mean, I guess we could, you could use any puff. I'm going to use the same Tati and I'm going to tap in. What I like about the Tati puff is that it doesn't pick up too much powder and it really pushes it in to the skin. Like I feel like it doesn't sit on top when I use this. We're gonna now contour, powder contour, and we're gonna use the Dior for that. bronze um with the kylie almond bronzer but i've noticed with muslim on makeup there's not a lot of like bronzers this blush i mean Huda beauty has her like highlight contour kit but the bronzer has like shimmer in it and i'm not into that i'm into more matte so so this baking powder actually has Huda beauty in it so it is somewhat muslim on Huda beauty laura mercier fenty and joe mcglant 
Yes, I like to create my own concoction when it comes to setting powders now, okay? I just feel like it's a game changer. I got this from Style by Harouche, so. Chloe's makeup. She makes Chloe look so good. Now we're gonna quickly do the eye. I'm gonna zoom you guys in, and then you guys are up close and personal now. We're gonna go ahead and do one eye together, and then I'll do the other eye off camera, per usual. We're gonna go ahead and apply my P. Louise base. Just apply it directly to my eye now, because it just saves time. And we're gonna do one like this. Okay, so we are gonna be using, I have Huda Beauty eyeshadow palettes, but it's not what I use for that look I posted. We're gonna use the Tati, Tati Beauty palette. As you can see, it's loved. I love this palette, it's so good. Okay. First we're gonna go in with Soothe, which is like that transition brown on a Morphe M518. I'm just gonna focus that on the upper crease area. But don't worry, we are gonna be using a Muslim owned shadow glitter, whatever. And that's gonna be a little bit different than what I actually did. It'll be very similar. I just wanna incorporate a little bit more Muslim, you know? All these products that I am using are like clean beauty, they don't test out animals. Um, some of them are vegan, so I really do like that. Makeup can be vegan, but like basically don't use animal products, and I feel like that's kind of nice. Or alcohol, you know, anything that has skincare in it usually doesn't have too much alcohol in it either. So just like really blow out this eye. And honestly, this eyeshadow palette does the work for you. You really don't have to try too hard. And so does this eyeshadow base. So these two together is just so scrumptious. My friend told me she doesn't like when I use like words that describe food to describe like makeup, but like it's how I feel. Like it looks so good, so yummy. Let me know if that bothers you down below. Also, if you want to see any makeup looks from me, you know, I know I haven't been really posting on here, but um, I'm going in with the Mac 224 and the um, color Story. It's like an orange, orange transition shade. I'm just kind of applying it right on top where I put Soothe, just to kind of build the crease. And this look is not that dramatic. It's really Really easy it's really good for day to night I mean we're not really doing I'm sure no one's really doing anything for Eid unless like you know your state is open or your country is open and you guys can go to the mosque or whatever but like I, I, I like strongly suggest you don't I feel like just because it's getting warmer and just because states are opening up it's because Trump is trying okay I don't like to get political, but Trump is trying to, you know, build the economy back up, which I totally understand. Like, some people have lost their jobs, and, like, people need to get back to work, and, like, I 100% understand that. Like, think about, think about your old neighbor. Think about your parents. Think about that, and, like, imagine them getting sick, and, like, I just can't. You know, like I live with my mom and dad. I don't want them to get sick because of my self selfish need to be like out and about. To so really think long and hard. I'm not gonna tell you guys what to do, but I'm just gonna be like, you know, coronavirus is not over. It's still happening. I'm using a Mac 217 in the color ritual to blend out this outer corner and then take it into the crease really focusing on the outer corner and creating that v-shape you really want to be safe you know like that's all i'm gonna say plus like who likes to be sick like, i had the flu last year and that shit was not fun and the coronavirus is supposed to be like that on steroids so no thanks like i just don't want to be sick like i hate being sick so that's why i'm just like i don't understand how people are just like so just whatever about it just really blow it out really bring it out kind of line it up with the brow okay and you're gonna go back in with story because i kind of lost that shade and we're gonna take the first brush the m1 the m518 no extra product just blend it just really looks like one seamless blend and we're not cutting the crease we're not doing anything like it's such a um easy look now we're gonna just do the under eye real quick with soothe story and ritual on a M5 something brush, it's a Morphe brush. So it's just a small blender and we're just gonna blend out the under eye before we apply the shimmer shade. What I'm gonna do is take what we were baking with and just have them still be connected so it looks like one look. Okay, and now we're gonna do the lid shade and we are gonna go in with um, Aura and Story, or Aura and Soothe mixed together, but mostly Aura. So it's gonna be a little bit on the brighter side. Now, in the look I posted on Instagram, I used the glitter from this palette. But for this, I want to incorporate another Muslim brand. Oh, we're gonna add another Muslim brand. This is kind of just like the base we're creating. We're creating the shade. 
go back in with um, Ritual just to kind of blend out the edge here. So now we're going to apply shades. So I have um, these Ilaha Hajeva liquid shadows right here. And we're going to pick one. I just don't know which one yet. Just see what vibe. Now I had used the Soothe glitter, which is like a gold glitter, which is kind of what So here they are. I think I'm going to go in with this shade right here, which is shade number... They're numbered. I can't read this number. I think it's three. Yeah, shade number three. So I think that will just complement the eye look the best. Just add a little bit of shimmer. It is Eve. I know, like, you're like, why are you just so for Eve? Like, why not? You know, like, we still did the work. Like, we still fasted. We prayed. Um, we, you know, just because we didn't celebrate Eid the way, Ramadan the way we normally do, which, like, stars and things like that, or go to Travi or anything like that, doesn't mean we shouldn't celebrate. Like, this is one of the most, like, it's like our Christmas, you know? Like, why should we stop celebrating our holiday because it's during coronavirus, you know? I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It just adds a little bit of a gloss, okay? And on top of that, I'm gonna add the glitter. And then it's gonna real, real stick. Do you see how that just like elevated the look? Truly elevated. It's kind of acting like an adhesive to that glitter. Like it really just shines it up. And then we're gonna go back in. Let's use a different brush because I haven't done the other eye yet. And we're gonna. It's always important to blend the edges. Even if the glitter goes up into the crease, like it's okay. Because we didn't cut the crease, right? We just kind of applied the shadow. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, I'm gonna quickly do my other eye off camera. Probably remove my bake and we'll be right back to finish the face. Okay, guys, we are done with the eyes. Time to finish the face. Um, You guys already know what I love to do. I love to apply brightening powder to my face. Um, It just kind of really changes the game. And I don't know why I did my brush. I'm using a Morphe M536. I already removed my bake. Time for some blush. Um, I've been really enjoying KKW Luxe Blush. I think it's just the right shade for me. I just kind of really love how neutral it is. Not too bright, not too um, orange. It's just like the right shade of pink. And I do heavy with the brush. As you guys know, I love the Sonia X Fiza method and you have to kind of go really heavy with the blush. Almost um, like, like so. And then we're gonna spritz our face. I'm using the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. Not a setting spray. It's like skincare and a setting spray, you know? Now what I've been really enjoying to doing is taking this Laura Mercier Translucent Glow Powder. So it's kind of like it has shimmer in it. It's not, it's not like a setting powder. I mean, I guess you could set your face with this, but I would recommend it. I just like to apply this on my high points in my face. You see how it adds that glow? This is exactly where I would highlight I'm applying this. I just really like what it does. It adds a natural feel of glow to your face. So you could stop right here and keep it right here. But, I mean, how long have you guys been watching my channel? Um, I'm actually gonna go back in. I'm gonna highlight the face. Um, with my favorite highlighter which is the I'm Lazy Highlighter. I'm using a Morphe M510, and we're gonna go overboard. Now, I do have a bump there, and normally I wouldn't highlight there, but we're here. Okay, and now we're gonna take a bullet brush, MAC 219. Okay, and now we are gonna highlight the inner corners of the eye with the same. We're using an M507. When I like a brush, like, I really like it. Like, it's really hard for me to, like, try new brushes. So the numbers always wear off. So I apologize for that. Okay. And now we're gonna take a clean blender and just blend the edges here so it kind of just looks more put together. I did add a black liner to my lash line. And I'm actually gonna add a black liner to my waterline. Now, I normally would, I did brown, but um, I kinda want it to be a little on the dramatic side. Actually, no, we're gonna do brown, because I just found this one, and I really like this liner. This is Coaster Reach by MAC. I love what this does to brown eyes, so we're gonna tight line with it. Yeah, see how that just kinda needs your eyes? Just pop with that brown. And then we're gonna take this flat shader brush and kinda define the lower lash line, because I totally forgot to do that. We're gonna do it right now with the dark brown in the palette. And this will kinda just help define the eye. I definitely recommend doing this. 
even if it's just like even if you're not wearing black like it's just like a good way to define the lower lash line now we're gonna take translucent powder and the flat side of this brush do the buffing technique so i like to rub it out on the air this has really, I think, changed my makeup game. And some Sonia XYZ sisters from Dubai. I feel I've always enjoyed their makeup. Look like the Kardashian sisters, but they're I love them. It's Muslim, Muslim technique too, so I'm here for it. I'm gonna spritz the face one more time. I'm gonna spritz. I'm gonna go ahead and apply lashes and lip, and I'll be back. Change my outfit into my Eid outfit, and I'll show you the final look. Okay, so I'll spray with you guys. Okay guys, I am back with my finished look. I love how it turned out. I'm wearing my Eid clothes. Actually, I don't know if I'm wearing this on Eid, but I might be, who knows, you know? No, no, Sonia Muscatia, if you wanna know. Anyway, um, yeah, here's my final look. I hope everyone has a wonderful Eid. I hope everyone enjoys their day with their family. I hope all your fasts are accepted, and I hope you still make good of the day, even though, you know, we are in lockdown, we are in quarantine, and this Eid 2020 is not what we expected it to be, but it will be the best it can be if you, what from what you make of it. So enjoy it. Um, it will be an Eid we will never forget. So, but that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down below, all that good stuff. Let me know what you guys want to see and I will see you guys in my next video.